Hey everyone, welcome back. This is going to be a dramatic, smoky, glittery makeup tutorial using the Urban Decay Naked 2 and Vice 2 palettes. Now I have a combination of those eyeshadows on my eyes. I did a lot of layering and just used a little bit of a ColourPop eyeshadow to top it off and create this sparkly look. So if you are interested in seeing how you can recreate this look at home, then please keep watching if you don't have this eyeshadows just go by the description of the shades i mean you don't have to have this palettes let me get started the first thing that i apply is a little bit of eye primer then i'm setting it with another eye primer and this is by the sephora collection line i have a review if you're interested it will be linked on the top of the screen right now it actually makes a slippery base of a powder so it helps blend a lot better the eyeshadows then i'm I'm taking in a fluffy blending brush, the color Tease from the Urban Decay palette, and I'm going to apply it into the outer corner and also into the crease. Now, this is since this is a fluffy brush, it's going to apply it in a very light way, way and uh, I'm going to use another one to kind of deepen it out a little bit more. Now, my eyeshadow, it's kind of old. I think I had this palette in my collection for about three years, so it does take me some time to build up the color because I think the eyeshadow formula is changing on me. Then I'm taking the 203 by or my Real Techniques, this is the brush, and using the same color tees, I'm trying to be more precise and build up the color to make it look darker and that way it will look better with the darker shades that I'm going to apply into the outer corner. So make sure that you do it in layers and little by little start blending this eyeshadow until you reach the desired darkness. In this case, it's going to look something like this. Then I'm taking um, black eyeshadow with little silver sparkles now they don't look very noticeable when i applied into my lid so if you don't have something with sparkles it doesn't really matter but this one does have a little bit of them then i'm going to apply it into the outer corner and blend it with a blending brush like this one now if you want to stop right there you can create a very subtle but still smoky black look in the outer corner but in this case i wanted to make sure to apply a couple of layers so that's why it's very important for me to blend all the eyeshadow you know all the areas of the eyeshadows that i just applied then i'm going to go once again to the same shade and with the brush 201 by real techniques which looks like a pencil brush and i'm going to do a second layer just to intensify the look again this is something optional but i think it looks very pretty when i do it in layers then i'm taking this dark blue shade and i'm going to go into you know whatever we stop that black color into the center of the lid i'm going to apply this blue one now it's going to create a nice effect and transition from the black color to the blue one but it's going to look a little bit messy until you start blending so we're going to start blending all the edges and making sure that we go back and forth. This is very important if you're doing some kind of a dramatic look. It needs to be very well blended, at least all the areas where it meets other eyeshadow or where it ends the eyeshadow, because that is actually make, it's going to make a big difference in the end result. Then I'm taking a bigger blending brush and again going in the edges and making sure that I don't see any harsh lines then i'm going to move on to this dark purple color and i'm going to apply it wherever we stop that blue i'm going to blend this purple now this way we are creating a combination of shades in between that blue and the purple color and it's just taking a little bit more intensity but it's not as dark as it is in the outer corner i'm also applying it with a flat shader brush because i want to make sure that all the glitter particles are going to be noticeable and even though we're going to apply a topper on top oh of course it's gonna be on top <laughs> but it's going to make all those little sparkles show up a lot more then i'm taking this rose gold shade and i'm going to apply it wherever we stop 
that purple shade and for the inner corner instead of making something very dramatic and glittery I'm taking this matte shade to create a little bit more balance between the glittery colors and shades and the inner corner being a little bit more nude then I'm taking this orange eyeshadow and I'm going to apply it over or on top of my crease to create a little bit more warmth because it's very colorful and also dark but I felt like I need it needed something more um a little bit warmer to make it work for my skin tone then I'm taking the color rainbow this is by Colourpop it's kind of a sheer eyeshadow that I love to use as a topper so I'm gonna apply it and I'm gonna go into the center of the eye I'm not gonna go into the inner corner too much and I'm not going to apply it into the outer corner because the outer corner it's going to have that intensity and it's going to create that balance as well as the inner corner then I'm using this eyeliner and and I want to make sure that I do a very thin line where I can set the eyelashes. Then I am taking another eyeliner. This one is purple and I'm going to set it with a purple eyeshadow. This is going to be a pop of color for this very dark um, eyeshadow look and I think it adds an extra something to it. Then I'm gonna make sure that I blend it and I apply mascara. Just remember, if you're applying any kind of eyeshadow or eyeliner into the lower lash line, it's important to define your lower lashes. It's just, it, it's something that it looks very pretty. Then I'm applying some false lashes. I think these are Wispies by Ardell. And also tight lining with a dark brown matte eyeliner and that's it that is the final look it's something that i love to use this past holiday season you know december i use it pretty often i just think that it looks beautiful that will enhance any colors of eyes and that it's just something that you know you have to layer it but it will create a special effect and something completely different so i hope that you enjoyed this video thanks again for watching please let me know in the comments down below if you have these palettes and I'll see you on my next video. Bye guys!